Hello everyone, so welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be doing a review on the GP5M or the PMG2 or the GP6, uh, depending on uh, what you want to call it. This is a GP5M kit, so it's like a civilian use kit, and um, the PMG2 is the military use kit. There isn't much of a difference, the face piece is the same thing. Except for the filters here, so this is a GP, uh, the filter of another GP5 that I have, and um, this is what would come if it's like a military kit, and the bag would be different. But I don't have the sort of PMG sort of bags; I don't have those. And um, this is a EO18K. I think it would either come with this filter or a EO62K. I think. There isn't much of a difference except for, you know, the charcoal. You can see that the GP5 filter is slightly shorter than this filter since this filter has more charcoal inside since it's for military use. And um, the face piece here, so this is called a SHM66MU. It has a voice diaphragm and it's basically a GP5 with a voice diaphragm and a uh, the sort of your cutouts, these are not cutouts, they're molds, and um, I got this for about $30 online from eBay, and um, this one's from Latvia. You can see here, the Soviets just decided that um, this is a GP5, it's a very successful mask, and um, it's pretty cheap to produce. It's a civilian mask, and um, this is what they came up to upgrade that mask. So, um, you know, you have a voice diaphragm so you can speak. And then you have the ear cutouts to save some rubber, and um, you can hear better. So this is just an upgraded version of the GP5. You can see that the, um, the sort of snouts are just the same. This one is a bit better, I think. I don't know. Anyways, so um, the lenses are the same. It's just, you know, you have the sort of ear cutouts and the voice diaphragm. So let me open the voice diaphragm up. This one is made in 83. So let me just open that up. This one actually doesn't have a lot of tarnish on it, unlike the um, SHMS. So, there's this thing. Let me take this out. This is uh, it's the voice diaphragm right here. It's just a uh, thin plastic membrane. It's pretty new, and, um, and that's all it is. That's the inside of the mask. So, let me just get that away. And uh, you can just assemble this. Uh, my kit didn't come with anything else. It didn't even come with a bag. It's just a mask and a uh, new GP5 filter. Uh, it was made in, I think, 79. So that's long expired. And um, the, uh, the voice diaphragm is kind of hard to screw in. This one's a tiny bit rusted. You can see that these are, uh, I think, uh, some dots on here. This may be tarnished. I don't know. And um, I don't really want to remove it after my incident with the SHMS, where I just scrubbed off all of the anti-rust uh, sort of paint or whatever it is. So you can see the inside of the mask. You can see uh, there's um, tisset tubes inside for defogging the lenses. I just put some soap on the lenses so um, it wouldn't fog up. And um, the snout, the intake outtake down here, if you can see. So that's the intake outtake. That is the voice diaphragm. So now I'm gonna wear the mask. Uh, I have it connected to a GP5 filter. Don't worry, this it has asbestos in this, and I didn't. Uh, I'm not gonna breathe through this. So let me just put this on. So you have the sort of ear holes. The ears pop out, and the voice diaphragm seems to be working. So this is how you would look with the filter on. And this mask connects to uh, any sort of Goss 40 millimeter Goss thread. So all the Soviet filters, it doesn't connect to NATO filters. Uh, so I also have a helmet here. This is a Soviet helmet. Not exactly. This is a Hungarian copy, but it doesn't really matter. It's the same design. So let me just pop this on. So uh, right now, I kind of look like a Soviet soldier. So. Uh, Look pretty cool. This is how you would look. As I said, this mask was used 
uh, by military and civilians, but I rarely see any pictures online of um, soldiers wearing this mask. They usually just wear a SHM-41, those GP-5 masks that have a larger snout. And uh, yeah, I think this mask is pretty good. It's functioning well. You can see the lenses aren't fogging up. And um, I can hear everything. It's kind of weird to have my ears out since... You know, uh, you usually wouldn't have that the Soviet helmet type mask, but this one just has the ears out so you can hear better. And they also had this ear design because, um, uh, you know, they wanted to save more rubber. And um, the voice diaphragm is making the same sort of vibrating noise, uh, like the SHMS. I don't know why, it's just a thing about all the sort of Soviet voice diaphragms. And, um, I think I would look really goofy, the ears sticking outwards, but I can hear just fine. And um, some people say that uh, if you have your ears out, uh, gas would get into your ears. But that's not really true because when you're in a gas attack situation, you'd have an entire hood on. So it all, all of this would be covered and you would have your is inside so gas wouldn't get into your ears but if you're just wearing this mask alone gas would get into your ears so um you can wear a gp5 for higher levels of protection and then um, the size small this is a size three but if you get a size zero which is the smallest version of this um you know that uh the ears they, they don't have the sort of ear cutouts they just didn't bother since the ears are so small anyways. So they just, uh, they just got a GP5 and put a voice that from it. And that's only for the size 0, which is the smallest. This is a size 3 Y. So I think this is the third size. There might be size 4s, but I usually don't see them. Um, this is pretty large, um, but I can fit in this. Um, the GP5 sort of uh, hood designs I can fold up. Uh, this, uh, all of these masks would fit you because they're, uh, well designed and, you know, it's the Soviet sort of one size fits all sort of thing. So you don't really have to care about the size when purchasing this mask or a GP5. And